I've dried my piece with a heat tool, before we start working on it, we'll just go through the other products that you'll need to create the card that we're going to be creating today. We're using the Sheltering Tree stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is a polymer stamp set from the New Occasions catalogue. We'll be using the branches and the leaves and I'm using the Thinking of You greeting but there are four greetings in this set. Because we're stamping with polymer we'll use the stamp and pierce mat to give us a little bit of cushioning when we stamp. We're going to be stamping with the Memento black ink pad. We're also going to be using some multi-purpose glue and a stamp and write black marker. Um, a, a credit card or one of these little scraper type things to apply our glue with. And most definitely you'll need some scrap paper when we're working with the glue. Okay, this is our piece we spritzed before. It's nice and dry. I've actually used the heat tool to help dry that. And you can still see the text faintly through that. But the colours sat on the gesso quite nicely. It hasn't gone through to the back very much at all. Okay, I've got my stamp and pierce mat out, which is going to give me some pushing when I stamp with my polymer set. I've got my branches mounted onto a clear block. And I'll just ink that up with the Memento ink. And when we stamp, we're going to stamp over to the left hand side, but remember we've got to add leaves, so not quite right at the edge. So our branches, and we'll just pop the leaves on a block and ink that up with the Memento. And the beauty of the polymer stamp is that we can now see exactly where we want to position our leaves. Now the next part is the scary part. You can see on mine we've got a, a frame around our tree. I've freehand drawn that. Don't panic, it's not that difficult. I have made my square about seven and a half centimeters. So half of seven and a half is three and three quarters. So we'll just find the middle of our tree where the stem is and go to the three and three quarter mark. And then we know that if we make a mark at zero and a mark at seven and a half, Okay, so take the stamp and write marker and you'll need the fine end and just draw a line across from dot to dot. Now I use the text underneath as a bit of a guide for keeping them straight. Okay, so now we're going to do the second doodle and this is your chance to correct anything that doesn't look quite right. For instance, to me the whole thing looks a little bit tipped this way. So when I start down here, I'm going to bring it inside. And that just evens it up a little bit and gives it a bit of a doodle frame background. Cute, hey? Okay, now we've got plenty of paper left down here to create our greeting. This piece will actually go onto the card front. And this card front measurement is 10 and a half centimeters. So we know we're going to have to cut this piece 10 and a half centimeters. So I just roughly position it where I want it and make a little mark on my paper. A little tip, when you do trim, just give it maybe one or two millimetres extra than the ten and a half centimetres. We can always trim it off. If you make it too short, you're going to have to trim the bottom off your card. Okay, now to, to do the greeting part, you will need a small piece of 
scrap whisper white card that will fit the greeting that we're going to stamp. I'm going to use thinking of you and we're going to use our spare bit of spritzed paper to do this. This is yellow here so I think I'd like it to be this blue part. So just pop your piece of white card on the top and trim around it just roughly. Well, it's all going to be trimmed down anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect. Keep this bit, we'll put that on our insert. Now this is where you're going to need some scrap paper. I have a couple of sheets of scrap paper on hand because the gluing bit does get very messy. Use your multi-purpose glue and your credit card or your little scraper and just pop some glue onto the back of your paper. Then grab your scraper or your credit card and just smooth it all out. You want to make sure that you get all the edges. And pop it onto the piece of Whisper White card. Clean off your credit card and get rid of that paper because it's got glue all over it now and anything that you put on there is going to stick to it. Now again we'll need our stamp and pierce mat to stamp on and we're going to stamp up our greeting with the memento black ink pad and now comes the second scary bit again we're going to create a little border as you can see here around the greeting again this is just freehand drawn and I just start at the bottom and basically draw a line around and then again just to create that doodle look we'll draw again and as long as you keep it vaguely rectangular it'll all be good Pop that aside for a minute and we're going to apply this piece to our card front. Again, you'll need a little bit of scrap paper, your glue and the credit card. This time we'll need quite a bit more glue. And we do want to get to all of the edges. So try not to move the text paper otherwise it will glue to your scrap paper and we don't want that. It dries quite quickly. Pop your piece of scrap paper out of the road. Measure it so that it's even with the top fold. Press down. Working, see I'm working from the inside to the out just so there's no air bubbles. Make sure those edges are down nicely. And now you'll see that the bottom is slightly over the edge. And that's very easy to fix. Grab your paper snips and just trim it off. Now if you find that you've Got any little bits lifting just apply a little bit of glue underneath and you can see I've got some black marks on here. A little trick here is if you've got one of these um, um, glue removers just wipe it over the top and that removes that any glue that's come out the edges. It's picked up any of the ink off my fingers you can see that's all gone from the edge there. And the very last step is to apply our greeting. I'm going to apply it along here so it's slightly off the edge. And we'll just do that with some dimensionals, which I've lost. There we go. Now 
that's actually the finished card on the outside. Um, with this extra little piece, I would decorate the inside of my card and I'll just show you another one that I did here. And you can see I've had enough to create two pieces on the inside. And that's it. That's our Messy Monday card for this week. I'll see you in a fortnight. Bye.